Yeah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That, speaking on the subject, go ahead, out with it. Out with it. What are you talking about? Oh, not that I got this thing going. Richard Gere syndrome, whatever. Don't worry about it. Things are good. So, you know, I'm at the bar, hanging out with my friends, and I asked this girl, where, where are you from, the bartender? She said, oh, I'm from New Jersey. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, did, did you ever... Uh, uh, meet anybody there at one of the local bars named uh, uh, Stephanie J. Josephine. She says, no. I said, well, I did. Uh, you know, and I just pissed her right the fuck off. I don't know if I just have that effect on people or what, but sometimes you meet somebody, they just don't like you. And, uh, right, Mr. Kunk? <laughs> yeah. White. And so... You know, I don't know. I was telling some stupid joke, and uh, she was all, that's it. We're going to go. We're going to go to blows. And I was like, all right, I'm down for free sex, you know, whatever. Um, so she grabs me by the hand. You know, she wasn't very tall. She was about, you know, pretty tall. But um, she's walking me over towards the restroom. I look back at my friends, and I'm like, yeah, you know. And then she fucking turns around and clocks me in the throat. And I was like, what the fuck? And that's when it, you know, we, all of a sudden the bar lights dim and I hear this bell. Ding, ding, ding. I, I don't know if it's a Jersey thing or what. It's a Jersey thing. No one's that stupid. But yeah. And next thing I know, there's a spotlight on us and they're like, who's down for? <laughs> what, what, I don't know the uh, uh, exact words, but they said, who's down for some bare knuckle boxing? And uh, ding, ding, ding. And I, that's when I realized when I was looking at her that she was the one making those ding, ding, ding noises. And so I'm like, what the fuck, lady? And so, you know, ding, I'm still looking at her when she makes the ding noise and she punches me in the throat again. I'm like, nigga, I got a giant nose. Aim for that. This hurts. I, I was having trouble breathing. All of a sudden, you know, she grabs me, you know, like boxers do. You know, they, 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 you know, they throw a couple of punches, then they hug. Nothing homoerotic about that. You're damn right, Mr. Kunk. There's nothing homoerotic about two half-naked men hugging. Hugging it out. Ding, ding, ding. So while she's in this embrace, you know, and the bartender who all of a sudden is dressed like he works at Foot Locker, he's all, all right, bring it up, you two. And I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on? And she bites my fucking neck. But the thing is, she had no teeth. She had no motherfucking teeth. No teeth? Jeez, at least I got a couple. You're right. So she's, you know, blah, blah, blah. if you've ever been gummed on the neck by somebody, you know, if you haven't, you don't know what you're missing because all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> talk about a hard fight. You know, I was fully erect. It only took like four seconds for this strange, enigmatic creature with no teeth. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not the noise. It's, it was like, well, like a, you know, I expected a holy field kind of, I would have cut off my ear like Da Vinci. But in retrospect, so, you know, I'm, she's gumming on my throat. I'm trying to push her off me. The bartender slash referee comes up. All right, you two, break it up. He looks at me and he says, oh, my God, you two get back together. Okay. Four minutes later, I'm all right. Things are good. You know, things are good. Things are good. And uh, so hey, if you haven't gotten a gummy, this is why I don't do edibles. That's your story? No. My sto the point of my story is that I've never hit a woman before in my life. As hard as I hit the Stephanie J. Josephine right in the mouth, but she has no teeth. So like, and it caught in the gums. You know, it's like, there's it, it this weird Trident commercial and all of a sudden, you know, she's like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if that was a tactic of hers or just something, you know, I don't know what, what she was on. I don't, I'm pretty sure her name was like Michael David Carlson, you know, um, but uh, Stephanie Joseph, whatever her name was, the gummy girl. Yeah, in a gummy world, you know, soft and plastic. It's fantastic. Anyway, so long story short. You know, I felt that I got a few good punches in, but uh, she definitely won the bite. That's not funny at all. So six months later, we're sitting there and I'm telling this story to the same bartender. 
And uh, she does this weird, you know, the trick that you do for kids. Hold on, kids. But behind like a, a, a counter, I'm going to the basement. And you like pretend to walk downstairs. Well, no shit, the bartender does that. Out pops this little gummy gummy bear. And uh, she's like, you want more sucker? And she was doing this circular thing with her tongue. But the thing is, she had teeth. Now, here is where it gets really weird. Apparently, it's one of those, uh, you know, one in a billion birth defects where you're born with teeth in the, you know, the genital area, the general area, you know what, they have good insurance, but I would never take the, no, Mr. Kunk, the genital area, you know, instead of the mouth. Well, where the mouth is, but shut up, Mr. Kunk. Yes, sir. So, yeah, she was actually, she shaved her head and was walking around buck naked upside down and backwards waiting for me to show up at the bar just so she could show off her pearly whites. And then next thing I hear, ding, ding, ding. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Well, thank you all for enduring that <laughs> stupid. Uh, wait, I'll get it. Hello? Ding, ding, ding. Oh my God. We'll be right back. Thanks, Mr. Ding, ding, ding.